So this Oddworld game is a lot harder, a lot more mature than the previous ones, yet it retains all, a lot of the charm of the previous ones. How are you able to do that? Well, uh, a lot of late nights <laughs> and years of hard work. We, uh, when we first set out on this title, what we wanted to do was we wanted to say, if we achieve this in the way that we're intending, then the audience should be saying, wow, I never would have expected this from Oddworld, and it could have only come from Oddworld. Definitely, I think they'll say that. Well, that'll be great. And then uh, it was a lot of, you know, it's a highly designed game, a very highly designed game from uh, an innovation level as well as a very practical level and also trying to keep brand consistency. And we felt like in the day of Abe and Munch, it was one market. You know, it was, it was a different world at that time. And we said, well, we want to break from Abe and Munch and we want to explore some new innovative territory, but we're true to the odd world brand. So what does that mean? How do we grow it up? How do we get more edge? and yet at the same time keep what's endearing about it. And uh, the end result is stranger. The gameplay is also a bit different too. I mean, it still contains a lot of the third person action elements, but yeah. there's a lot more uh, first person shooters too. So yeah. it's almost like Oddworld goes to Halo or something. Well, you know, Halo was a, an awesome game. And uh, it, when Halo released and we were playing it, I, I, I was like, wow, this is really, really a great game. And I said, you know, there's something with shooting that we can do that hasn't been done before, and I'm not exactly sure what it was. And, and at that time, we set off to start exploring some new territory. And we said, look, what can we do different with shooting that isn't being done? How can we take what feels great about shooting and what manifests well in games with shooting, but put a whole different twist on it? And that's where the live ammo came from, where you're shooting animals off of your boat, you know, living creatures, and you hunt them. And that led us to a whole different sort of, we wanted to manipulate the NPCs, the enemies in the world, in ways that you normally don't in games. And we wanted a greater sense of life and interactivity and them witnessing you in a different way. So that if, if you're playing it and you're really in the heat of it, it feels, for people watching, and I've heard this a few times today, they go, it feels more like a show hmm. or a movie, you know, the way it's like going in and out of first and third and going in. And we said, yeah, well, we were really inspired also by the Sergio Leone westerns in that you'd have these long shootouts in a town, you know, and by the end the town is trashed. And, you know, but it wasn't just a shooter where you see something, you cancel it, you cancel it, you cancel it, or you're canceled. And we wanted a more, a longer battle to ensue, and we wanted, you know, various twists on it. So we wanted to enter into action territory with a different type of intensity than we had ever done before, and with a twist, different twist than we had seen anyone do as well. So. So the main character isn't as cute and fun, ah, cute and slimy yeah, yeah. as Aver Munch. What's his deal? Well, Stranger is more of a mysterious uh, lone bounty hunter, and you're not quite sure re what's really going on with him. But you realize early on that he's got he's got some health issues that he needs to r raise a lot of money to to get fixed, and it seems to be a life threatening condition. So, as you start going through the game, the obvious is bounty hunting to start raising money. Mm -hmm. And all I can really say at this time is the plot thickens, and it starts taking turns in ways that one wouldn't expect, leading to uh, more of an epic conclusion. During the demo, you showed some of the character interaction in the different towns and how he goes about getting bounties. So how were you able to set up such a world that's so alive? A lot of AI. A lot of AI. The AI is very deep. I mean, you, you, you have it on, on, a, on a simple level, which I consider the secondary play. How do I gather information? How do I interact with people? If I just bump into someone, mm -hmm. you know, it, 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 there should be reactions. You know, th they should feel like they're aware and they're witnessing what I'm doing in the world. And we want that because we want you to feel more connected to all the characters, whether you like them or not. You know, we want you to feel like, if you don't like them, then we want you to feel yeah. for not liking them. Totally. And, uh, there's only one way to really achieve that, and that's increase a greater sense of life within those characters. And that means greater depth of AI. Now, on another front on the AI, you have the persistence of what happens in combat. And you see a lot of dodging and taking cover, and mm -hmm. these guys are really persistent, and really, uh, they're doing smart things. And we wanted to push that into some realm where we hadn't really been seeing it done. And uh, it, it was a lot of work and uh, sort of setting a very high mark to go, if we achieve this, we're really pulling it off. Can we achieve that? And the truth is we achieved a little more than we thought we could achieve. And that's really a, a testament to having a great team and a great engineering team. 
So the team at Odd World today is stronger than it's ever, ever been. And it synergizes really well. And out of that chemistry, we're just able to collectively get results that uh, you know, none of us could get individually. You touched on live ammo before. Can you explain that yeah. system and how it works? Well, one of the character traits of Stranger is that he doesn't like guns. Yeah. And so he has a double barrel crossbow that attaches to his arm. And he doesn't shoot bullets or arrows, he shoots little animals. So you hunt little vermin, you know, vermin, <laughs> what do you say, vermin <laughs> in the world, you know, little critters in the world. You hunt them, and then they become your ammo supply. And then those ammos have different effects that allow you a completely stealth approach, a completely aggressive approach, or anywhere in the middle. And that was very important to us, that the game didn't play one way, and that every time you played the game, it would play differently. And you can mix and match the different yeah. animals So it's have. double barrel, right? So you'd say, well, uh, I'm going to choose this on the left, and left trigger, this on the right, right trigger, and then that forms a chemistry that you can now use, and the combinations uh, you still keep finding. And in fact, even though there's a limited set, you know, there's only so many ammo types you'll get, we're constantly finding, even us uh, designing the game, that we never thought to use this one with this one in this circumstance, and then you get a better payoff. And a lot of the payoffs we're looking for are, okay, I did the work, I did the work, I did the work, I want a, I want a good laugh. You know, I want a good setup. I want to feel like I really stuck it to that guy. And that's what we were searching for, too. We, it shouldn't only be a uh, reward, uh, a challenge reward. It should be a entertainment reward as well. That was funny, the way I tricked him into this trap, or the way I did this. And we wanted that to be available to you at all times, not just in the specifically scripted events. And the truth is, it's just a lot of hard work and a, mm -hmm. and a bunch of smart people really focused on the same problems. So this live ammo system, it, it's added a whole layer of puzzle elements that you just don't see in first-person shooters. How, can you give me an example of um, mixing and matching the different animal types sure. to beat an enemy? Sure. Uh, let's take stealth, for example. Okay. So we have a, 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 one of the animals you get is called the chip punk, mm -hmm. right? And he's called the chip punk because he talks a lot of trash. And when you get him on your bow, he talks trash to you. And he's also aware of what's going on. So if you get hurt, he's kind of like, hey, that must have hurt. You know, he's, <laughs> he's giving you feedback. And he's sarcastic. And so if you fire him out in the world within the range of an NPC, he starts talking trash. And they'll go over, ah, I hate those varmints. And he'll go over <laughs> and try and stamp them out. So you can use that chip punk and you f to maneuver the guy wherever you want him. So you can set him up. And then let's say you wanted to quietly lure him away from other guys and then take him down without anyone knowing. Then you might use a spider, the spider bowl. We call it the bowl of might. And now I've got my chipmunk, I'm drawing him to me, and then the spider bowl, boom, I hit him with a spider bowl, he wraps up in web, and he's bound and gagged on the ground. I can just, I can just bounty him secretly. And, and that's one example of how I could pick guys off one at a time. Another way is, is like the skunk bomb. You know, I can skunk a guy, and he just starts throwing up. You know, so he's incapacitated, he's immobilized. And now I can just run up, and I can bounty him with no damage. And one of the key things in the game that we're encouraging that I think is, I don't know that it's ever been done in, in a game that shoots, is we encourage alive versus dead. And what that means is you could go through and, you know, kill everybody, but you're not going to earn the money you could have had you bountied guys alive. You know, alive or dead has two different prices to it, and so does their whole gangs. You know, every character that you're hunting has a different value, alive versus dead. And that incentivizes you to take maybe a, 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 a more complex strategy. Which Instead of being all Rambo and... Yeah, 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 exactly. So you could be all Rambo, and you've seen some moments of that. Right. But if you do, you're not going to earn as much. Right. So uh, we feel like you want that perfect mix where, oh, I want to I earn more. I've earned enough. Now I want to I have some fun in a different way. And it's available to you whenever you want. Cool. Um, the animals can also be upgraded, too? Yeah. Yeah, so like a chip punk. Uh, if you fire him out in the world within range of someone, he'll attract one guy. But the upgrade for the chip punk is a little PA system that he wears, <coughs> little, little you know, speakers on him, and then he'll, he's speaking loud enough to attract three guys. So th that's like how the nature of that upgrade would work. That's uh, very odd world. <laughs> yes, yes. So we want, you know, everything has a unique twist to it, a sarcastic twist. And then the subtext of what we've always, always been about, that's deeply there too. But I, I think it's too early. I don't want to start to reveal what, sure. what those major plot points are. But early uh, on, he's basically going after 12 bounties. Yeah, there's a number of bounties, and you go to a number of different towns, and then they have outlaws that are giving them problems in different ways. 
and then you choose uh, based on how much that reward is worth. You have a choice of oh, I'm going to go after this guy, no that guy, you know. And uh, the the value, the higher the value, the higher the difficulty. And then you go out and you start hunting them and you speak to people to find out where they are and we wanted you to really feel like you were on an expedition on a journey and we wanted it to feel very an analog and live we didn't want it to feel very digital and canned and then after you get those 12 guys then the real stuff goes down right yeah then it really starts but we're going to have to wait for that yes but it's third person action first person shooting sarcastic humor and that inimitable odd world style that stranger in a nutshell uh yeah live ammo is sort of what we call the <laughs> razor x so this is Stranger in the Games by Readers. We hope you enjoy Stranger, and I hope to have a job soon and be in another game. <laughs> <laughs> Warren, thank you very okay. much. Hey, thank you. Cool.